Well, hello, YouTubers. How are you this evening? I hope everybody's well. All right, another day of COVID, or, or whatever the other one's called, Omricorn or whatever. I don't know how they come up with these bloody names. Uh, that's what I told my one of my daughters. She's a, a neurosurgeon, so yeah, she's in Sydney. She uh, works in Sydney, or she lives in Sydney as well with her mummy. So yeah, basically, yeah, so, so anyway, uh, touching base on this Kenwood TS50, beautiful unit, well made, as our Kenwoods are, you know, beautiful. Yeah, changed all the caps, got all the caps, beautiful, eh? Yeah. Underneath, I'm not going to show underneath, but anyway, it's changed the caps underneath as well. All right, and that's it. Two transistors there. One didn't function, the other one was weak. Still had current, but just weak, very weak. All right. Lollies, bad lollies. So, ready for the customer. So, yeah, there's a final test. I still got to do the actual cap in the display area. Haven't done that, it's only one cap. All right, use the tantalum, replace it with a tantalum. So, basically, yeah, that's it. So, we'll put it on. And hello, comes on as hello. Doesn't say goodbye, but anyway, it's a beautiful unit. Okay. Beautiful power now. Hello, 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 hello. Testing, 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 testing. The Kenwood TS50. That's TS50. Thank you very, very much. Very sensitive, very sensitive. All right. Okay. Testing, testing. Boom, 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 boom. Beautiful radio. Beautiful, beautiful. Testing, testing, boom, boom, boom. I'm gonna look at the power on it. Boom, 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 boom. Hello, 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 hello. Boom, boom, boom. Beautiful. Fantastic. Beautiful unit. Yeah. Very sensitive. Hello, 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 hello. Boom, 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 boom. Very good. All right. And this is the final test. So these units, look, I do recommend, you know, the SMD capacitors to be changed. The others, they tested all right, some of them, but some of them, are, I've replaced them on this unit. I've replaced them on this, on this uh, unit, all the caps, the electrolytics, plus SMD caps, all of them, all gone. Right, so basically, yeah, all being changed. All right. All right. A lot of traces. I had about probably about six traces gone because it's basically the uh, it's eaten away the old caps. Yeah. Just disgusting. I mean, you can't say much more than that. I mean, look at that. I'm going to put that back All right, for the audio amplifier yeah so so that's basically it ladies and gentlemen yeah hard work but you know the owner will be happy because the unit is worth worth a bit of money the unit 
It's a highly collectible twin. Give it a clean. Put it in the actual box. And that's it. Ship it away. I think it Western uh, Western Australia or South Australia. I'm not too sure. I think it's South Australia or Western Australia. Anyway, one of those states. Anyway, so that's that. That's basically it. So yeah, it's a beautiful units. So anybody's got a unit like this. So there's a button missing as well. It was like that. The antenna tuning. So. I'll have a look at it, see if maybe it's stuck um, underneath here, because I've got to do a cap on the display, get rid of the uh, SMD electrolytic cap and put the tank on. Otherwise, this is going to go. It's already leaking. I, I've seen it leak. I see it leaking. It's already leaking. So basically, yep. So it's working, but anybody needs their units, any type of units, Icon, Kenwoods, Yesu, whatever. I don't care. You know, I know what I'm doing, so yeah. So you can reach us at www.audioclassichifi. That's audio classic hi fi. www.audioclassichifi.com. Dot com, not au. Dot com. Okay. Send me a message from there, or you know, give us a call. Um, if you've got one of these units, you're interstate, okay, or in the country, you have to post it, right? I don't do click and collect, okay? Okay, so, but I can, if you're uh, a Melbourne person, right, I can pick it up, not a problem, all right, free of charge, all right? So, as long as you're in Melbourne, uh, not in the country, no, you have to post it. Melbourne country, you have to post it. Simple. Sorry, but that's how it is. You know, and I've got a lot of work at the moment, but you know, first in best dressed. Yeah, so if anybody's interested, let me know. You know, to look at the unit, it's $45. You know, okay. Had a TX problem, this, this unit. Now it's working, but okay. The situation is $45 to look at it. Once I give you the quote to repair it, okay, and you accept, that $45 will be deducted. All right, so $45 is absolutely nothing. You take it to Kenwood or you take it to Icon. I'll tell you, they'll charge you more than bloody $45 just to look at it. Yeah, okay. And if they can't find the fault, mate, that's it, you lost your money. Okay, with me, if I can't find the fault, it's still the same. You lose your money. It doesn't matter. All right, but at least I gave it a go. You know, if it's a real old unit and you just, look, you, if, you can't get parts anymore for these units. All right, you do the best. But I've got heaps of parts, so I'm not worried about that. All right, I've got, man, I've got millions of parts for, for different brands. All right, so I'm lucky. I'm one of the lucky ones. So I, I get people from overseas, in, uh, you know, America, Canada, Europe, asking me for parts. Have you got this? Have you got that? And if I got, I got. But if I haven't got much, no, I will not sell it to them because I need it for myself, for my shop. All right, so that's it, people. All right, so... Another repair, another successful repair at Audio Classic Hi-Fi. Bye.